Hey guys, welcome to Radiation Test. And today is uh, January 20th, 2012. And we're going to be doing our monthly uh, milk sample right now. And I've decided to do it a little bit different today for the month of January. Uh, I wanted to use powdered milk. And I bought this down at the local uh, supermarket. And I tried to find powdered milk that was uh, from Japan or from overseas. But unfortunately, guys, they don't tell us on the box here in America where a lot of these products come from. It just says a distributing warehouse. But I figured it'd be a good candidate. It's already dehydrated. And uh, I'm really wanting to keep a close eye on these uh, milk samples as uh, we continue doing tests here at Radiation Tests. And what we're doing here now is uh, I prop the Geiger counter up on these CDs with a piece of wax paper and uh, let it let it run for the last couple of hours just to make sure uh, there was no contamination or anything that could affect the results on this end of it. So that's what we did. So we can get right to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump this graph. It's currently showing 1800 minutes of data. Uh, I'm going to bump it down to show uh, 180 minutes. There we go. There's our 180 minutes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this milk. A little teaspoon of it here. And get the thin mica window right on top of it. I can put a little bit more in there. Let me see here. All right. And of course, you always have to be careful not to contaminate your Geiger counter. So let me get this just right. All right, there we go. That should work pretty good. All right. Now the current time is, let me look down here. It is uh, 6.31. So we'll let this thing run for 90 minutes. And I'll keep an eye on it as it runs. If it's... If I see something fishy going on, we'll let it run a little longer, maybe. But uh, we'll come back in maybe 90 minutes and evaluate the results. All right, guys, we've had the powdered milk sample set in front of the Geiger counter here for 90 minutes. And if we look over here, we will see three hours of data being displayed. We placed the milk sample in front of the Geiger counter at 6.31 p.m. That would be 18.31 that will be right about here. And here's 90 minutes of background radiation. Here's 90 minutes with the powdered milk sample. And looking at the high points, you know, we see in the background radiation we had uh, about 29 counts here. We had 26 counts here. Uh, that's the highest points that we've had in the last 90 minutes with it. And the milk sample didn't get any higher than that. So that's always a good sign. And then when you look at the low counts, we have six, uh, here's six, here's four, six, there's six, and then we get to the powdered milk sample. We have a four, there's a six, we have a four there, a four there, and right here we hit three, and then right here we have a five, so it looks consistent on the back, on the, uh, on the low side too. And then just looking right through the middle of the data, it uh, it does look pretty consistent to me. So, uh, and you can see right here on the left side of the graph, we're averaging on the background radiation uh, about 14 counts per minute. So, as far as I can tell, uh, with the equipment I have to detect radiation, this powdered milk sample is okay. Now, I did call the uh, the manufacturer. I bought this at the local supermarket, and I tried to find out where it comes from you know I asked them if it come from Japan did it come from uh, China what happened where's that where's it coming from and they wouldn't tell me anything so who knows where it comes from it could come from Russia could come from the United States Japan Indochina I don't know where it comes from that's unfortunate but uh, I am on the lookout for this stuff guys and uh, here recently I've taken my Geiger counter into a supermarket and I've been sneaking around with it a little bit trying to find any hot items why uh, no one's looking I'd like to take my 
camera in there to do that, but I'm sure I'd be arrested for loitering or something. Uh, they won't let us do that here in America. So, uh, thanks for tuning in to Radiation Test, and uh, we'll be on the lookout for this stuff. Thank you.